Hi folks, welcome back to Tony's Diecast Restores. Uh, today I'm doing a Matchbox 62C Mercury Cougar. Mercury is of course a division of Ford Motor Company. Matchbox introduced the 62C in 1968. It came with regular wheels, chrome hubs and black plastic tyres. Later on in 1970 it was upgraded to super fast wheels before being converted to a dragster the following year. This became the 62D. Not that you can tell from this video, but it came in a metallic yellow-green lime colour. The original plan was to turn this into a low rider, but the steering mechanism makes it a bit difficult to do, so I'm going to have to stick with the original suspension. I'm also still experimenting with paints. I've had a spray can on the shelf for about five years. Uh, it's not a colour you would normally see on cars, but I'm going to use it anyway. See how it turns out. Some of you will hate it, and some of you will love it. Right, let's get into it. I'm using a 6 minute drill here. Nice and slow. Let the drill do the cutting. Wobble on the drill there just to take the edges off. Let's see how I got on. A little bit more off. Let's have a little lift there, look. Okay, that looks to be about it. Yeah, definitely move on. And it's off, there you go. Let's see what's on the interior. From the car swooped into the body there. And there's the steering. The blue paint on the base there. Red interior with tow hook. I think I may be getting rid of that as standard. Oh, where's he gone? Ah, uh, a little bit dirty, but quite good. Uh, doors off. I think this is like an enamel plate they've got on there at the minute. Springs to come up next. Yeah, that came out easy. And finally, that rivet hole from the glass in. Again, I'm just using the six millimeter. Yeah. Just take that edge off. Nice and slow. I know people don't like us using the screwdriver. It's habit, really. That one came up nice and easier. Bit of paint on the glass. And that's pretty much it. Okay, let's get the wheels off. The usual method. I had a little bit of trouble with this one. I think the steering mechanism was moving about when I was trying to do it. The wheel kept riding up the axle there. So I had to turn the axle by hand. Bit of blue paint on that wheel there. And that's that one off. It's flipped over. And do the other one. See how I get on with this. Ah, this one's going a little bit better. It's turning with the dribble. Uh, 
And now with a caustic sword I shot. I don't normally put much in. About 10 minutes in there, I should take the paint off, no bother. And there we go. All nice and clean. Let's shine a little bit. I've had Dremel problems here with this one. The switch on the Dremel is broken, so it's got no speed control on it. I've ordered a new switch from China, so I might get it within the next month or so. As always, this takes some time, so I've speeded it up about 400%. I wish I could actually do it at this speed. It would save a lot of time. So that's that done. The base is already painted silver. I'm going to paint the detail on the front here. The black grill. I think this is called a razor head grill because of the fluted uh, lines. I read that somewhere. You guys can let us know anyway. I also didn't know this car had like flip out headlights. Uh, all the pictures online got the headlights in. It's so it looks different. Just leaving the badge in the middle there. I think I've managed to get all the paint and action in the camera view this time round. Okay, I'm going to do the headlights now. White Tamiya. Slightly diluted it so it runs a bit better. A little bit too wet, possibly. Slightly out of camera frame there. I'm trying to make the camera work a bit better. I have my eye on a monitor on an eBay. It's a little bit expensive, so I have to get it past the weight first. The monitor will help me see what's on the camera. Watch this space. Be prepared. The next bit is of the painted body. And here it is. So what do you think of the colour? Hideous or nice. This is the paint I've used. It's a plastic coat metallic spray paint. Been on the shelf for years. I had to use it on something. So I thought I'd give it a try out. Anywho, that's the colour it is, and if you like it, you like it, and if you don't, well, you don't. Okay, put it back together now. Glass is already in, springs are already in. This is me putting the doors on. Sorry about the hands. What's that doing? I'm paint the wheels now. Ends of the axles and the hubs need a bit of a touch up. Using the Molotov as always. It's starting to get a bit empty, so I might need a new one soon. That's pretty much that. I'll dab some on a lid and use a brush to paint the hubs. For some reason I turned this wheel anti-clockwise. I 
I think we can like five old bush deeds to replace them. It's starting to get a bit of a strange tip on it. Slightly curved. Oh, just painted the black wheel there. I'll just take that off. Okay, a bit more assembly. That's the interior going in. As you can see, I painted it black from the original red. Tow hook duly cut off. Tow hook hole filled in and painted over. That's that done. Base going on. Obviously the holes pre-drilled and uh, tapped. Let's play with the screw for a little bit. Ah, there we just going in. Brilliant. Okay, a little bit more detail painting here. Black tire wash, just to make them shine a little bit. I don't know why I didn't do this when the wheels were off the car, but hey ho, there you go. Okay, that's pretty much it. As you remember, it was painted in this blue enamel paint. Didn't have a clue what the original car was. Silvery bits were a bit dully grey. Wheels had paint on, interior was a bit dirty, and it had a toe. The glass was in quite bad condition, what with the blue paint and uh, quite a lot of scratches on it. I know I've chopped a few steps out of this food hero that you normally see. I'm just trying to mix it up a bit, keep it, keep it different, you know. Anyhow, let's see how it turned out. The magnificent Mercury Cool Guy in metallic purple. What do you reckon? Glass is nice and shame. I give it a polish and then dip it in the pledge. I think it works. You can still see some of the scratches there were. Uh, the interior is now black instead of the red. I think the black goes better with purple. The hubs and axles are a nice silver colour now. All the tires are nice shiny black. Nice detail on the front grille there, barge and lights. And on the back, nice big red bits. I've left the bumpers the same colour as the base this time around, instead of chroming them up. So, how did the plastic coat paint do? Uh, it went on a little bit thick, I think, but you can still see all the detail on the bare casting, so it's not so bad. Would I use it again? Mm, yeah, probably. But how many purple metallic cars am I going to do? Hmm. Perhaps a standard colour like a black or a blue or something, make it more economical. So it's over to you guys. Let us know what you think of it. I'm going to let it spin for a few more seconds and then we'll get into what's coming next.
So what's coming next? I am doing something for Deep Junk Garage's Shop Truck Challenge. That's a mouthful. Will I get finished by the 1st of September? I don't know. I've also got the part I'm waiting for for the Ford Cortina. So I might get that finished at some point. Keep your eye out for that one. As always, like, subscribe, share, dislike if you want, stick something in the comments, uh, there's some address and email if you want to send us something. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, see you the next time. Goodbye.